We live in a pretty amazing period of time where groundbreaking technological advancements are happening at an insane rate. Only 20 years ago, the internet was made available to the public. And in that time, we've seen the former government tool created as a way to keep communication going should the Cold War escalate, used to download porn into pirate episodes of the Big Bang Theory. And soon, jack material and shitty TV shows won't be the only thing you'll be able to torrent. You'll be able to download a gun. A company called Defense Distributed, which has managed to make working gun parts using a 3D printer in the past, has now apparently created an actual working gun using nothing but 3D printed parts and a nail for a firing pin. And once they've finished testing it, they plan to release the pattern for free on their website. Now, when I first read this story, I thought, well, who cares? What's a 3D printer cost? Like $40,000? I don't think I need to worry about my neighbors setting up a gun manufacturing facility in the apartment next door anytime soon. I've seen their groceries. It's all no-name brand shit. They're not buying a 3D printer. But then I actually looked it up. You will soon be able to buy a 3D printer, one that theoretically would be capable of printing this gun, for $1,300 at Staples. ABS plastic cartridge refills are around $50. Of course, this is still pretty fucking expensive, but that's not the point. The point is to think about the following sentence. In the year 2013, a person, any person, could walk into Staples and purchase the materials necessary to download and print a handgun off the internet. If that doesn't make you think, holy shit, go back and listen to that sentence again. If you've done that, and it still doesn't make you think, sweet Jesus' balls, what the fuck is happening? You just failed the test that should decide whether or not you should be allowed to have this technology. Now this is the part in what's becoming a very formulaic routine for me, where I explain that I'm not anti whatever the fuck I happen to be talking about at the time. I'm not anti-guns. I think that responsible gun owners should be allowed to have guns for hunting, as well as range or trap shooting should you enjoy those activities. Nothing wrong with hunting as long as it's done within the law and in a way that's not gutting an ecosystem. And as long as you're eating what you kill. Just going around shooting animals for fun makes you a sociopath that doesn't shoot humans. Yet. And I'll even go so far as to say that having a gun for home protection is fine. It's not going to matter when you wake up in the middle of the night during a home invasion with a gun to your face and your gun is out of reach in your dresser, or it's the gun that's currently stuck in your face because that's the first thing they stole, but fine. I will concede that you should be allowed to have a gun so that you think you're protecting your family, even though you're probably not. And not because some musty old piece of paper written by some old fucks and wigs who could never have imagined the weapons of today said you should be allowed to have guns, but because people should be allowed to make their own choices in life. But this. I would hope that even you gun nuts who think it's reasonable to own an arsenal of AR-15s for home protection should think that it's not reasonable for the average person to literally print a gun in your own home as many as you want. Ah, fuck, who am I kidding? Of course you think it's fine. You thought it was fine to market guns to kids called My First Rifle, but that's a whole nother rant for another day. Now you might say, well, Buckley, it's $1,300. No one's gonna do it. Sure, it's $1,300 now. You know what else was once $1,300? A regular printer. You can buy a laser printer for your home now for $30 if you want to. It's literally cheaper to buy a whole new printer once your ink or toner runs out than it is to go buy ink or toner. And yes, let's get some of the other details out of the way. It's a small plastic gun that fires a single shot. So? A kid could print off the gun at home, take it to school, and shoot someone they don't like. In 2003, the type of problems you had with printers was, fuck, this printer is taking forever and I need to be at school in 20 minutes to hand in my assignment to Miss Watson. Now in 2013, the problem's going to be, fuck, this printer's taking forever and I need to be at school in 20 minutes to shoot that asshole Ricky for stealing my girlfriend. You still gotta buy bullets, but in the US you can buy them at Walmart, no doubt eventually at the same time as you're buying the refills for your 3D printer. And so what that it's only one shot? It only takes one. So they can't shoot everyone in the school, great. Who cares? They shouldn't be shooting anyone. One is too many. Fantastic, it's a shitty gun. It's still a working handgun that you can download for free off the internet and literally manufacture in your own home. Defense Distributed's mission statement is 
to defend the civil liberty of popular access to arms as guaranteed by the United States Constitution and affirmed by the United States Supreme Court through facilitating global access to and the collaborative production of information and knowledge related to the 3D print of arms and to publish and distribute, at no cost to the public, such information and knowledge in promotion of the public interest. In other words, because Obama's coming for your guns, you needs to have the ability to make your own from home. It sounds like each download should also come with instructions on how to make a tinfoil hat. To paraphrase a quote from Dr. Malcolm in Jurassic Park, they are so preoccupied with whether they could that they didn't stop to think if they should. Great, you can make a handgun with a 3D printer. But should that be possible? I'm going to suggest that it can only lead to more harm than good, and that anyone with half a brain should be able to see that. The problem is that half a brain might be expecting too much from a lot of people these days. These types of guns are already illegal, since you're not allowed to create homemade guns that can't be detected by x-ray. But the type of person who wants to make a gun in the privacy of their own home isn't generally the type of person who's going to give a shit about that law, or most other laws. I guarantee you, guarantee you in the next five years, you're going to read a headline about someone murdering someone else with a gun they downloaded off the internet. You don't need to be a member of the Psychic Friends Network to see that one coming. But if you think I'm wrong, you might want to consult a proctologist to see if they can do anything about pulling your fucking head out of your ass. And to those of you who would comment, This video is pointless. No one's going to go through all this to print a gun at home. You can get guns way easier and cheaper in the US. Yeah, you're right. And how's that working out for you?